Does social media for your law firm feel confusing? Maybe you're not sure what you should use, what you shouldn't use, where should you be avoiding hanging out? Well, stay tuned because we're gonna dig right into this hot topic in this video. So let's dive in. Hi, I'm Carrie. I'm a fractional CMO and marketing consultant. I work with law firms to help them bring in more qualified leads, that those qualified leads will turn into amazing clients and customers for them, which will help them increase and scale their revenue in a really sustainable way so that they can make more money but work less hours in their firm. By the end of this video, you're gonna learn my top three tips about how you can use social media to help you reach your ideal clients and scale your law firm revenue with ease. Okay, number one, when it comes to social media and using it for your law firm, the very first thing that you need to do is you need to figure out which channels or channel on social media that's actually gonna work best for your firm. So the reason why I say you need to pick one or figure out which one is the best is because you don't necessarily need to be on all of the social media channels out there. Um, I know there's a big push for like mass marketing, like mass media marketing, and that's not necessarily effective or is gonna bring you the best ROI for your firm. What I want to encourage you to do instead is to think about your ideal client or your ideal customer. Where are they spending their time when they are on social media? That's really important. That may be different than where you might be networking. That's also important to know. So while you might network on LinkedIn, your ideal client, your ideal customer, they may be spending the majority of their free time on Facebook or on Instagram or something like that. So it's really key to know a lot of info about your ideal customer. And if you don't know that information, before you start posting on social media, you need to do some deep dive on getting to know your ideal client and customer so that you can really make sure you're showing up in the right places for where they are at. So pick one channel based on your ideal client or customer that you are gonna spend the time on and, and advertising and sharing about your firm and how you service and support people. And then you can repurpose the content that you make for that channel and put it elsewhere if you want to, if it's needed, or if you desire to do so. So for example, a client that we have helped with this, we did some deep diving and we had to do a little bit of experimenting. This was really key. Sometimes you think a channel is going to work for you and it might not. So we did some experimenting and we originally started our focus on LinkedIn and it turned out that the ideal customer that she was trying to draw in was actually hanging out more on Instagram. They were spending time there. So what we did is we developed a strategic plan and a workflow plan for her and we put our efforts towards Instagram instead of on LinkedIn. And as a result, she was able to land more ideal calls, appointments for her business and was able to increase her overall revenue because the ideal clients that she was looking to engage with were on Instagram and they was we were getting no traction on LinkedIn. So that's a good example for you of how sometimes you can try something and maybe it's not working effectively. And so you just shift and move to a channel that's gonna work best for you and your business. So if you are a law firm and you're looking to bring in more leads, more appointments that are ideal clients for your law firm, and you're looking to scale your revenue while you are hoping that you don't have to work more hours in your firm to accomplish this, I have a wonderful free checklist just for you. It's called the Flourishing Firm Checklist. And in this guide, I walk you through the exact items that you need to review and add into your firm to help you bring in more qualified leads that will eventually become ideal clients and also learn how to increase your lifetime customer value, which allows you to re-engage and activate your current and past clients to make them amazing advocates and raving fans of your firm. I even show you how to re-engage with 
potential clients that maybe have disappeared on you in this checklist too. So make sure you check the link in the description below so you can get access to this free checklist today. All right, so number two, when it comes to social media for your law firm, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna create a strategic plan and a, a workflow that you can use for social media to draw in and engage with your ideal client or customer. So this is so important. You do not want to just go at it like throwing spaghetti at a wall here and there. You don't want to just put random content out that doesn't have any thought behind it or strategy. And you also don't want to just post like willy nilly. You want to have a plan in place for when you're going to post. You also want to have a strategic plan on what types of content you're going to share. And this goes back to what I said in point number one about knowing your ideal client and customer. You must know a lot about them and what their pain points might be. What are their, what are they looking for? You know, those types of information because you can share content that's going to resonate with them and you don't want to post the same type of content over and over. So you can think about different styles of content. You can have educational content. You can share what we call, um, you know, sales content or promotional content where you're getting them to try to engage with them, get them to join a free training you have, or you might want to have them sign up for a free consultation call. You can share inspirational or engaging content with them. That's just fun and engaging. There's lots of different types of content and you want to have a strategic plan for when you're going to put that content out. So you're not just putting out all promotional content, but you're also not just putting out all educational content. You want to kind of have a diversified plan for that. And then you need a consistent schedule. You want to be consistent about when you're showing up on social media because otherwise people are not going to know what to expect <laughs> from you. And if they know that you're going to be showing up consistently, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and the posts go live at 9 a.m., they know what to expect. They know it's going to happen. And you may have to play around and experiment a little bit with that schedule, and that's okay. You need to just get started. Don't worry about it being perfect. Uh, a B, we always say a B grade is better than nothing. You know, you want to get started with a something to make you look consistent. And the other thing about being consistent that's important is that it makes you look like a real, like real people who are trustworthy. And remember, when you're providing law services, whatever type of law you're practicing, it's important to build that know, like, and trust factor with your potential clients and customers. They have lots of options to choose from when it comes to the type of law that you practice. And you wanna make yourself and your firm look like you're trustworthy and you know what you're talking about. That's so important. So we have a client example where what we did with this is we first created a strategic plan for them. We sat down we went through their ideal client and their customer. We talked about their pain points, their desires, all the things. We did what we call an escape and arrival exercise with this client. And that allows us to get all of the information with them about their ideal client. And then what we did is from there, we built out a plan of what types of content we were going to put out when we were going to promote it. And then we also created a workflow of what days they were going to go live and when, and we built all of this out in a project management system that we could then oversee. And what was really great is when we put all that together with this client, it began to operate on autopilot. So all we had to do was delegate out certain key aspects of this flow and then have someone manage it and oversee it, which would be me. That's what I do as a CMO. And it worked perfectly. So it is a great example of what can happen when you have a strategic plan and you have a workflow is it not only allows you to draw in ideal clients, but it also makes it easier on your staff and your team members because it can work on autopilot and makes it a lot easier. Okay, so I wanna take a moment right here to stop and ask you, what is the best social media channel that you use currently for your firm? I would love to know what it is, so drop it in the comments below. Okay, number three, once you have done the first two, the next step, is to just start showing up consistently on the channel that is going to work best for you three to four days a week. So again, as I've referenced before, showing up and sharing consistently 
you know, three to four days a week on average is really a great place to start. And the reason why is because it makes you look like a real firm, like you're trustworthy and you know what you're talking about. So it allows you to build that know, like, and trust factor by just showing up. And another thing that you can do to make that consistency easier and repurpose your content is to use a tool like Social Bee. Social Bee is a wonderful tool that allows you to put in the content to go live and then it repurposes it over time. So you can continue to add content consistently and then it runs on autopilot. So I don't have to create content all the time. And the really great thing about using a repurposing tool is you can have the freedom to not have to feel like you have to create new content all the time. Because remember, the goal is not about, you're not necessarily going to get all of your ideal clients directly from social media. The goal is to build awareness and to create consistency so that you have that know, like, and trust factor with potential clients. And I encourage you to think about taking a main piece of content, like maybe you do a YouTube video or you have a podcast that you work on. You can take that main source and you can take that and break it down into smaller clips or smaller pieces of content. You can put a YouTube video into an AI tool like ChatGPT and it can create social media posts from that. So there's lots of ways to simplify and create social media content just by repurposing that allows you to show up consistently on your channel three to four days a week. So start showing up consistently and think about repurposing your content, which allows you to do so with a lot more simplicity and ease in your law firm. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it has been helpful for you if you are looking for simpler ways to show up on social media, or maybe your social media has been like non-existent and you're looking to get started. So I would love to invite you to get access to our free training our free checklist called the Flourishing Firm Checklist. Remember, as I mentioned earlier in this video, it's a great checklist if you're looking for ways to improve bringing in ideal clients, reactivating people that disappeared on you, or creating a sense of advocacy and lifetime customer value with your current and past clients as well. It's a wonderful tool and I highly recommend you check it out. It's in the links in the comments, so make sure that you get that link. I also want to encourage you, if you are looking for support in your law firm for the growth and marketing, I would love to talk with you. We offer a free growth strategy session where you can come and meet with me one-to-one -one for about 30 to 45 minutes, and we will look at where you are in your firm and where you want to be in the next six to 12 months, and what are the gaps and opportunities that can help you get there, and we can figure out a great way, a great package and proposal that we can help you get there. So I would love to chat with you. The link to schedule that is also in the description below. Make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel. I share at least twice a month videos on how you can help grow and scale your law firm in really sustainable ways. Thank you for watching.